Okay, compound legs and cells, candles of different shapes and sizes. A candle in the shape of a cylinder has diameter 10 and volume 450. Work out the height. So volume equals pi or squared h. Oh, uh, it's 450 pi, so the pi is actually cancelled. Sorry, I didn't see that. So the height then is 18. Let's check that out. Uh, pi or squared h is 450 pi. Okay. A small candle in the shape of a cone has volume 12 pi. A large candle in the shape of a cone has volume 150 pi. The height of the small candle is h, and the height of the large candle is 2h. The large candle has a radius of k. The large candle has a radius that's k times that of the small one. Ah, okay, so if this is r, then this is k r. Work out k. Okay, so let's have a look at the volumes. One third pi r squared h equals 12 pi. One third pi k squared r squared 2 h equals 150 pi. If I divide them, the thirds cancel, the pi's cancel. The, if I divide these, they cancel, they cancel, they cancel, they cancel. So I'm left with, and they cancel. So I'm left with 1 over k squared, didn't mean to cross out the squared, 1 over k squared times 2 equals 12 over 150. So that's 24k squared equals 150. 150 divided by 24, and then square root the answer. So you get k is 5 over 2. And k, it says, is a real number. OK. I think that's all right. Thirds cancel, pi's cancel. I left with a k squared of 2, the r squared of H cancels 12 and I think that's right. Okay, a third conical candle has its curved surface area uh, covered in both. The net of the cloth is shown in the diagram below. The net covers the cone perfectly with no overlying material. The diagram is uh, OA, that's 8 centimeters. Find the length of the arc from B to A. Oh, that's um, 216 over 360 times 2 pi r, and the r is 8 in terms of pi. 2 times 8 times 2. That's 48 over 5 pi, I think. Yeah. Find the length of the arc from B to A in terms of pi, and hence find the radius of the cone. So, if I can, yeah, if I can draw this now, what you've just done is found the circumference is 48 over 5 pi, because that arc there is going to be, if I roll it up the base of the cone, so 48, 48 over 5 pi is equal to 2 pi r. The pi's cancel, so that's going to be 24 over 5 centimeters. Yeah, I think so. A spherical ball of wax is used as a candle. The radius of the sphere is that. Find the volume of the sphere. Oh, okay. That's just 4 over 3. The 3 decimal place is pi or cubed. Um, that's 82.448 centimeters cubed. Okay. A horizontal slice is cut off the sphere so that the candle will balance 
on level surfaces. The area of the circular base of this candle is 5.4. Find the value of L, the vertical distance from the top of the candle to where the cut was made at a diagonal. Give your answer. So we want the length here. And we know the we, we know the radius. It's sphere. Yeah, so okay. If I just mark off where the center was, I know this is the radius 2.7. I know that's 2.7. I know that's 2.7. Oh, the area of the circular base. Okay, so there's a circle on the ground here we can't see, and its area, pi or squared, is 5.4. So 5.4 divided by pi, square root that, and you get 4 is 1.311 blah, 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 blah centimeters. But that's nice because... What that's going to let me do is get this length here. That's the 1.311 blah, blah, blah. Um, and I'll just draw here. That's 2.7. So I can get this distance here just from Pythagoras. Two, Square root 2.7 squared minus that side squared. So from Pythagoras, that's 2.36. Okay. And we know from earlier the radius here, that was 2.7. So it seems like to me the total length if I add on the 2.7, is 5.06 blah, blah, blah centimeters, which would be to the nearest millimeter, 51 millimeters. Yeah, I think so. Oh, it continues. Part of the logo of a company shown below, A, B, C, D is a square with sides of length 30. The points E, F are midpoints of A, B and A, D respectively. Okay, the points E and F are midpoints of A, B and A, D respectively. So that's equal. And it's a square, so they're equal as well. Use similar triangles. Find the length E, O. Find the length E O this length here okay that angle is the same as that angle that doesn't really have too much that angle there is the same as that angle I feel like I need to draw another triangle in one that has 30 and the third the a uh, thirty. What am I looking for? Okay, so that's fifteen. That's fifteen. That's fifteen. That's fifteen. Do we know these are right angles? E C. And FB are perpendicular. Okay, that's good. So there are right angles there. So that's a 15. That's a 90. Oh, so I should be looking at these two, maybe. That's a 90. If that's angles alpha and that angles beta, then that angles beta and that angles alpha. I see, I see. So the side EO 
that's this one here, over EB, which is 15. That would equal, so on this triangle here, you want the side, it's the side opposite alpha, that's OB, over the side opposite the 90, which is 30. So that means EO is a half OB. EO is a half OB. Ah, I can use a bit of a Pythagoras then. EO, that's 2x. So then x squared plus 4x squared equals 15 squared. So 5x squared equals 225. So then x is the square root of 45, tree root 5. Is that what the form it should be in? Yeah, tree root 5. Okay. Okay, I'm glad that's over.